Hello everyone, and welcome back to Breath of the Wild. I know I said we were going to Faron, uh, but I found a bloopy between episodes, so I figured we'd come and talk to Peaks and get that quest sorted out. Uh, oh, Mr. Hero, did you bring it for me? Yes, I did. Well, well, wait a minute. Is that a real bloopy? Wow, it's even more beautiful than Peaks imagined. Thanks so much, Mr. Hero. Now I'm content. Oh, and here's a little thank you gift. Peaks didn't forget. Thank you, Peaks. Oh, Mr. Oh yeah, Mr. Hero needs rupees sometimes, right? If you desperately need rupees, you should shoot an arrow out a bloopy. I hear they drop lots of rupees if you hit them. Oh man, I'm so glad I got to see something so cool. Peaks is so happy right now. I'm glad to hear it, buddy. And <laughs> I love that quest. It's just Peaks is just so adorable. Uh, so yeah, I thought we'd just go ahead and get that out of the way, since I ran across a bloopy. And now indeed, we will go over to Faron, just as I said. And now we're in Faron. So, uh, I figure the easiest one to get to would probably be, well, quote-unquote easiest. Uh, there's the one on the waterfall. Uh, let me get something that I actually can afford to break. Uh-oh. I didn't just piss them off, did I? No, I don't think I did. Okay, cool. Uh, so there's one in a waterfall up here. And then we can come down to uh, Ubota Point, I guess. Sometimes I'm not really sure how to pronounce these places. But that's okay, because I don't think anybody cares. Alright, if I recall correctly, this shrine is at the base of that waterfall inside, like behind the actual water. Uh-oh. Okay, that's a real problem. Uh, this Wizrobe is not going to leave me alone now. Oh god, please. No. No, I don't want it. No! Okay, he sucks. We're good. Mm, I want that treasure. Oh god, oh no. Okay, uh, it's fine. It's fine. We'll just... Let him some of the, the, the thunder and just be quick. Fire arrows. Oh, God. I don't think that was worth it, actually. Um, okay. Well, that's his problem now. Oh, God. Now it's my problem. Boy, this went real bad real quick. But I think we're fine. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I think we're good. Okay. I was a little afraid there for a moment. <laughs> I thought I'd like jump behind the wrong waterfall or something, but no, we're good. Uh, now let's go ahead and equip some some weapons that I actually care to use. Impeccable timing. Oh God, I remember this one. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure this one can be cheesed with wind bombing, so I'm going to give it a shot. I'm just I was just testing to make sure that I can wind bomb from this little corner here. I did it. Good job. Uh, that one didn't count, so I'm going to go ahead and try that again. But this time with a new technique. Oh, I got lag stopped. That one would have made it, though, I'm pretty sure. It's possible that I would have just bounced off the wall, but... Uh-oh. Eh? Did, did that... Uh-oh. Uh... Mm, this is a problem. Okay, so uh, that didn't work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try and do it the normal way. Uh, because I'm apparently not good enough to do it that way. What? Ah, fine. God help me if I ever try to do a speedrun on this game. Oh, okay. Alright. That one's good. Woo! That is a bouncy chest. I didn't expect it to bounce that far. Schmokey! Alright, let's be less less bad this time. That's usually a good, good plan. I think I got it. Yes, excellent. Okay, cool. 
That one was actually first try, so we're good. Ice arrows. Hmm. I've got all the treasure anyway, so let's go. Well, aside from getting stuck in a freaking hole in the wall, that went pretty well. Most of these have been going pretty well so far, I think. Next up is uh, Uboda Peak, I guess. Whoops. Uh, okay. We're good. I don't know exactly which one this is, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to end... Oh! Another one. Uh, I'm pretty sure the one on Uboda Peak is the one with uh, Cass. So... I'm alright with that. Oh, wait. Hardy Bass? Dang it. Very good. Ah! I was wrong. This is the one with Cass. Alright, well, I'm, I'm okay with that. Did I just completely make up one on Uboda Peak? I marked those stars based on memory. So it's entirely possible that there's actually nothing there. Do it! I dare you! You won't, coward! Ha! It worked. Excellent. I was a little worried that if I used the Thunder Helm, it wouldn't actually... It wouldn't take. But it did, so we're good. We'll talk to Kaz later. Just go ahead and do the shrine. I guess this is probably going to end up being a blessing, right? It is a blessing. Fantastic. Sweet! Too bad I've already done both of the uh, the shrines where that would be most useful. Well, now I am wondering what the heck is over on Uboda Peak because uh oh, I I distinctly remember going there for some specific reason, but now I don't remember what exactly it was. Aha! There is a shrine here, so I didn't completely make it up. I just misremembered exactly which one it was, which I am all right with. I, I'm just glad that I'm not, you know, losing my mind or anything. Bonono! Bonono! Aha! This is why I remembered it. Let's just go ahead and take care of this while we're up here. If I can friggin' pick it up... Uh-oh, let's not drop that on my own head, please. Just drop it on somebody else's head. It's now no longer my problem. Hello! Hey, buddy, got a map? I have one. So, on this map of yours, do you see the dueling peaks to the north of here? Well, apparently, that used to be just one mountain a really long time ago. Let's just say a dragon god split the mountain in half to forge a way through, and that's how it went from one to two. Recently, there's... E some are even saying they've seen a shadow of a large creature on the surface of Lake Floria. I wonder if any of that is true. Um, probably. I mean, in the real world, that'd be pretty far-fetched, but in this world, not so much. Hello. Oh dear, oh dear. Lightning strikes the stable so often, I get nervous whenever it rains even a little. I just don't understand why it strikes so often. Hey, it's a long shot, but if you have some time, could you find out why? Leave it to me. You will? Really? I'm so happy. I'm counting on you. What? You found out what was strong the lightning here? It was a metal axe. Aha! Yeah, that's as, that's as good as a lightning rod, isn't it? Uh, I wonder if someone put it up there on purpose. How strange. Thanks for looking into it for me. Here's something for your trouble. Thank you. I can finally relax. I actually didn't know what you gave me. All I knew was that there was a quest there. Uh, so I'm cool with that. We now have the complete uh, rubber set. So if we want to, we can be completely immune to electricity, but why would I do that? It's just really not that big a deal, to be honest. Oh, and also there's a shrine here. Oh, God. I think this is the one... If this is the one that I'm thinking of, I'm not excited for this one. Treasure. Royal Garbage. Stop giving me trash! Hmm. 
Uh, oops. I'm going to give it just one try. Ha <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so now that I know it works, can I get over there from here? <sighs> Not a great start, admittedly. Oh, oh man. Dude! That's the second time I just, it, you just did not jump. I don't understand. Me angie. Whoa. There's a big old area back here. Okay. Neat. I'm pretty sure this is an ancient core of some kind. Yes. All right. Now, no need to take it any riskier. Let's just go ahead and do it nice and simple. Ah, that was way more arduous than it needed to be. But the, uh, the casual way is honestly not that much better. That shrine kind of sucks. Or at least the uh, that particular treasure chest kind of sucks to get to. All right. Where to now? Wow, okay, so I did totally place it exactly right. Okay. Uh, apparently, there are a couple of shrines that I remembered being around this area. So I figure let's go ahead and give it a try. Eggs? Is that worth it? No. No, it's not. Oh, dear. Okay, I remember this quest. Uh, let's see if we can, uh, do the mirror shards, there are pieces of a mirror around here. I don't even remember if they, like, spawn until we talk to the guy. Let's go ahead and talk to the guy, just to be safe. Safe? Safe. Oh dear, it's getting late in the evening. Hello, sir. Hmm. Nani? Sorry about that. I was in the zone. Do you need something? What you doing? I was just examining the stone monument. This place has a very spiritual aura to it. Do you feel it? I recently realized that there's writing engraved on this stone monument. So now I'm trying to figure out what exactly is written here. Can I help? Ah, so you're the curious type too. The stone monument was once much larger, but it broke apart during an earthquake a while back. Uh, the earthquake that I caused when I activated the tower, maybe? If you really want to help, help you find the missing fragments, will you? They're scattered all around. I think the fragments had the same kind of script carved into them. If you find a fragment, please draw a picture of it and bring it to me. Uh, I'll be here finishing my examination of the stone monument. Oh, right. And the words on the stone monument glow with an eerie light at night. That should make them easier to find. One of them should be right around here. Please find that first. Okay. I have very vague recollections of where the fragments are. But I think that'll be enough. Haha, <laughs> number one. Okay, cool. Monument shard. Whoop. People did point out at one point that this is reminiscent of the Mirror of Twilight. You know, it's got the same shape, it's got the, uh, the script around the edge, and it um, it's about the same size, and it was broken into four pieces. I don't know. I, I think people even went as far as to say that th that is, in fact, like, at least related to the Mirror of Twilight. Go away. Um, I honestly don't think it's anything more important than people like making circles out of things. You know? I believe there's another fragment around here somewhere? Yes, yes there is. See, vague recollections, but it's enough. Oop. And a Korok. Neat. Uh-oh. That upset him. I murdered his pet, I guess. 
Oh my god! <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, that time he murdered his pet, so I guess that's on him. Okay, and uh, now the third fragment, I think, is around here. My brain is telling me to look around raw. Hey, there you go. Okay. I was going to say, I, I recall it being, like, in a little pile of rocks. And lo and behold. Excellent. That should be all three pieces. Let's go and report back to Mr. Man. I totally wasn't paying attention to his name. That's because it's not important. None of us are important. The heat death of the universe, etc. Hello. Greeny. Uh, did you find any fragments of the stone monument? I did. There you are. Hmm. Oh, amazing. Show me the next one. Hmm. Hmm. Perfect. You have more? Hmm. Hmm. That's amazing. Excellent. Thanks to you, I've got a good shot at deciphering the entire monument. Give me a second to see if I can put this all together. Wow. Thanks to you, I have deciphered the entire passage. Well done. When the two find their place and kneel in reverence, the shrine will reveal itself. Ah. I haven't the foggiest what that's supposed to mean. I do. Huh? Is is that it? Yes. Nice. All right, cool. Whoa, I didn't know what was close. I, uh, uh, I don't know what was closer to bowling me over, the surprise or the way the ground was shaking. Haha. <laughs> so the two needed to find their place where you and me. Makes sense. Does it? That seems a little weird, don't you think? Good job figuring that one out. I sure never would have. Huh? You're fixing to go explore that shrine? Oh, sorry. I won't keep you any longer. Off you go. See you later, friend. Thanks for your help. Like... He and I were specifically fated to do that? Or, like, just two people in general? Because, I mean, it, Link has to be one of the people. And there also just happened to be a person who lives in Lurlin who happens to remember this ancient language and just happened to get curious about this, uh, this ancient monument that got destroyed, you know? Seems a little... little he seems a little quick to brush it off, you know? Uh, what do? Oh. Nuts. I know what to do. Uh, that's a problem, actually. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do, but uh, that's the way I did it. So, oh my goodness, I nearly flubbed it up again. I'm good at video games. Uh, me dum dum. I just realized. I, I was supposed to put one of these barrels on the button. That makes a lot of sense now. Key? Not a key. I feel like they understood that the weapons are really fragile and break all the time. And so they just give you a poop ton of weapons to compensate. Whatever the thinking, I don't, I don't like it. Stop it, Nintendo. Stop. I don't know. Maybe some people need the weapons, but for me, I, like I, I avoid combat like the plague. And uh, oof, okay, there we go. We're good. And also, like I feel like shrines. Mm, that's the sort of thing where you, you really think treasure would be, right? Yeah. I don't know. Whatever it is, it can't be can't be helped. Oh! Are you serious? Did I? Okay, good. No, we're fine. I thought I just put myself into another hole. 
but no, we're fine. You, give me key. Key! Well, I hope you weren't watching too closely that entire time because that was like, uh, that was pretty embarrassing. Okay. So I noticed we are at 92 shrines completed, which means that there are only 28 more shrines to go. We're nearing the very end of our journey, and um, I'm very much looking forward to it. I mean, not in the sense that I want to stop playing this game, but just in the sense like, yay, we've almost done it! <laughs> so, uh, on the next episode, probably between episodes, I'll do some research uh, on where the remaining shrines are, and... Um, you know, I'll just mark on my map, my map, and we'll go ahead and get started on those. And so, uh, yeah, until the next episode, I'll see you later.